Hello everybody, in this video we are going to understand the gram staining. So on the left side, I will be indicating the gram positive bacteria and on the right side, we will have the gram negative bacteria. So let's start with the procedure. We add crystal violet. Crystal violet will stain both these cells violet. Next, we add a decolorizer. This decolorizer can be either an alcohol or an acetone. Decolorizer will decolorize the gram negative bacteria, but it will have no effect on the gram positive bacteria, which means the gram positive bacteria will continue to stain purple. Next, we add saffron into this. Now, once we add saffron in, the decolorized gram negative bacteria will be stained pink. Whereas, the gram positive bacteria already has the stain and it retains the stain of being purple. So, does that mean that saffron in did not stain the gram positive bacteria? No, saffron in has stained the gram positive bacteria. But since purple is a darker color or a stronger color, hence it's purple that's going to be visible and saffronin is not going to be visible regardless of the fact that it has stained the gram positive bacteria. Under the microscope, what we're going to find is that the gram positive bacteria is going to look purple and the gram negative bacteria is going to look pink. Now the game changer in this entire procedure is this step. The decolorizer step, which has decolorized the gram negative bacteria, but it has had no effect on the gram positive bacteria. Why is that so? So, for this, we'll have to go back to the structure of the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria, which we've already discussed in the previous video. The gram positive bacteria has this very thick layer of peptidoglycan. Whereas the gram negative bacteria has a phospholipid bilayer and a very thin layer of peptidoglycan. Then we add any kind of decolorizer. Let's say we add ethanol. What happens in the gram negative bacteria is that this phospholipid bilayer gets dissolved in the ethanol. And since the peptidoglycan layer is so thin, it cannot retain that violet or purple color. And it loses color or it decolorizes. Hence, gram negative bacteria do not retain the stain, while gram positive bacteria, due to the thick peptidoglycan layer, will retain the stain. But it is also important to note that this complex structure of the gram negative bacteria makes it more deadly as it is very difficult for the antibiotics to penetrate through such a huge layer. Whereas it's relatively easier for antibiotics to penetrate through a thinner layer of a cell wall. Hence, gram positive bacterial infections are easier to be treated as compared to gram negative bacterial infections. I hope this video was helpful. That's all we have for today. Thank you.